The F-22 Raptor was the first fifth-generation fighter aircraft to be produced, but it has kept its prominence among other fifth-generation fighter aircraft that came after it. This American single-seat, twin-engine, all-weather stealth tactical fighter aircraft developed for the United States Air Force has scared away American enemies for the last 20 years, and still capable for doing its job well despite the high cost of operating it. But its time is soon coming to an end earlier than most of us thought. The Collier Award-winning F-22 Raptor has delivered on its promise to provide unprecedented air dominance. The fifth-generation F-22's unique combination of stealth, speed, agility, and situational awareness, combined with lethal long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground weaponry, makes it the best air dominance fighter ever created in the world. Ideas about the development of the F-22 Raptor started in 1981, when the U.S. Air Force identified a requirement for an advanced tactical fighter to replace the F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon due to increased threats like the development of Soviet Su-27 and MiG-29 class of fighter aircraft that would outperform U.S. fighter aircraft at that time. Codenamed Senior Sky, the request for proposals was issued in September 1985, with requirements placing a strong emphasis on stealth and super cruise. Seven bidding companies applied for the job of developing the Senior Sky Air, but only Lockheed and Northrop were selected on October 31, 1986. Because of the high skill needed to develop the aircraft, Lockheed teamed with Boeing and General Dynamics, while Northrop teamed with McDonnell Douglas. The contractor teams were given a period of four years to present their demonstration phase. After the stressing hard work to win the competition, each team produced two prototype air vehicles for demonstration, one with a single engine and the other with a double engine. The Lockheed team came out with the YF-22 Raptor, while the Northrop team came out with YF-23 Black Widow. The YF-22 had its maiden flight on September 29, 1990, and in-flight tests achieved up to Mach 1.58 in Super Cruise. After the demonstration's L-flight test of the prototypes, on April 23, 1991, Secretary of the USAF Donald Rice announced the Lockheed team as the winners of the Senior Sky competitions. Even though the YF-23 Black design was considered stealthier, faster and hard a greater range almost 1,000 miles greater than YF-22. However, it was less agile than its competitor. The F-22, with its thrust vectoring nozzles, was more maneuverable as well as less expensive than risking. In fact, the aviation press speculated that the Lockheed team's design was also more adaptable to the U.S. Navy's navalized advanced tactical fighter. The F-22 entered service in 2005, and it won the prestigious Collier Trophy for 2006, but in the years to come that was surrounded by controversy about costs and its suitability in a post-Cold War environment. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the next generation of Soviet fighters the aircraft had been intended to dominate in aerial combat never materialized. The U.S. Department of Defense announced a decision to end F-22 production at 187 aircraft in April 2009. The Air Force received the last F-22 in 2012. The F-22 Raptors have been deployed in many conflicts in the Middle East, making more than 200 strikes, but none has ever been shoot down by the enemy missiles.
However, despite of its great job superiority, it seemed that its service will not last for long. The Chief of Staff of the U.S. Air Force, General Charles Brown, recently outlined his vision for the future of the U.S. Air Force tactical fighter fleets, and it does not include the F-22. For many this has come as a profound shock. The F-22 being the second newest aircraft, and without question the most lethal, survivable fighter aircraft in operational service anywhere in the world, and remains unlikely to be challenged in raw capability terms by any of the latest generation of combat aircraft under development by Russia and China. However, the F-22 has been a problematic asset for the U.S. Air Force for several reasons. The airframe, stealth coatings and avionics were all pushing the boundaries of technology when they were designed and have meant that the F-22 is extremely expensive to operate and difficult to maintain compared to other fighters. Furthermore, outdated electronic components in the software and communications architecture designed from the outset to only interface with other F-22s have combined to make the Raptor expensive and complex to upgrade with new weapons and connectivity with other assets, such as the F-35. The F-22 is also relatively short-range compared to other fighters in its size and weight class. All these conditions put the F-22 Raptor as a suitable candidate for early retirement. But the exact timing of its retirement will depend on how quickly the Air Force can put its sixth-generation fighter into production.